Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Timing. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. Y'all, I truly apologize because I've definitely been missing. But I'm back, okay? I promise you guys, I'm back. So we're here doing a general um, um, reading for Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, I've already shuffled Sage and prayed over your cards. This is for the last week of March 2023 or whenever you guys see the video. So God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, give me some of our energies for Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio? Overall energies for Scorpio. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now, Scorpio. Now. Okay? Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movements. This could be you, Scorpio, or the person that you are dealing with. Something is not moving forward because somebody is holding back. Somebody also could be dealing with somebody else here, too. Let's see. Give me some more for Scorpio. Yep. What did I just say, y'all? Somebody could be dealing with somebody else, too. And look what came out. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Scorpio, it is time for you to move away from something or someone. Because there's interference here. And something is not going to move forward because... Somebody here want their cake and they want to eat it too, bottom line. Something here could be just a, on a passionate level. But somebody, there's, a, there's another person here. There's another person here. And at the bottom of the deck, you got twin flame. You could be dealing with your twin flame type of situation here. And warning, don't dismiss the red flag, Scorpio. Somebody regrets Someone has remorse for the way they treated you. This could be somebody that you could have been married to, but um, it's time for you to release something here, Scorpio. Let's get some more information on these. Oh no. What is boundaries? What is this boundaries? What is this boundaries? I'm gonna clarify these real quick. I'm gonna clarify. What is boundaries here for Scorpio? Why is boundaries here for Scorpio, guys? What is boundaries here? Mm. Oh, okay. I had the cards upside down, so I'm going to turn them around. But, okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But somebody here is holding back because possibly they're they dealing with somebody else. But somebody here is very indecisive. And have, a, and have to decide between two people here. Somebody's rushing in to give some some um, some truth. Somebody's rushing in to, to speak some truth to you. And this could be somebody that was very indecisive about you. An air sign doesn't have to be. Be patient. Get yourself balanced, Scorpio. Somebody here is rushing in that you're going to have to put your boundaries up against. Because there's still some interference here, is what I'm getting. Somebody here wants a second chance with you. But you're going to have to put some boundaries up. This person is a lot of drama. Whoever it is, it's a lot of drama. Could be a fire sign. Use your intuition. You're very intuitive. You already know, Scorpio. But there's something that's being hidden. Yeah, this is somebody that, that kept you in your mentals. This is somebody you moved on away from with the Ten of Swords. You went through something with this person. This person stabbed you in the back a lot. Okay? It's time for you to move on. This place, person played a whole lot of mind games with you. Why has obstacles here? Why has obstacles here? Why has obstacles here? 
Why is obstacles here, guys? Why is obstacles here? Why is obstacles here? Yeah. This person could have been juggling you. Two of Pentacles. Towards Virgo Capricorn. You're strong enough to end something here. The, could have been dealing with a Leo. You're controlling your emotions. You're very strong now. This is something that has ended. Or it's strong enough for you to end something now. Why is interference here? Could definitely be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Why is interference here? Why is interference here, guys, for Scorpio? Yeah, it's time to end something, Scorpio. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, because it's, it's too much of a burden. I'm also hearing somebody could have gotten rid of some interference that somebody they had been dealing with, which was a very big burden. Could be this person trying to come back, too. Somebody trying to come back to start something new with you. In these is new beginnings here. Whoever was, who, whoever, whatever the interference was, they have let it go. Somebody has let inter, something go. Because somebody here is wanting to get back together with you too. And I'm also getting, y'all could be dealing with somebody that's been stabbing you in the back. You know. And it's time to it's time to end something here too. Yeah, it's time to it's, you know turn your back on something. Somebody's definitely rushing in towards you. There's some communication that's coming in. Like I told you, somebody regret the way they did you. And some of y'all are dealing with somebody right now where y'all need to put up some boundaries because there's definitely somebody here with your person, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get... I want to get a romance card real quick. Give me a romance card for Scorpio. Angels. Ancestors. Holy Spirit. Give me a romance card. Some of y'all could, could be in a marriage. And your person is trying to come back towards you. What do you got for Scorpio, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? You got calling in your soulmate. What do you got for Scorpio? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And... This is something that y'all in right now, where it's just strictly sexual, okay? It's unrequited. One person is giving more than the other person is getting. Because somebody's seeing somebody else. Shit. What the fuck? Hmm. Let's get some tarot on here. High Priestess again as I split the deck. I'm the Magician. Somebody could have been trying to do some kind of whatever you call that shit they be trying to do on, on people. Mm-hmm. Rivalry, competition. What is the situation here with Scorpio? The star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is being optimistic. This is somebody sees you as a star, Scorpio. You're very beautiful at this time. You've done a lot of healing also. Whatever situation, if y'all in a situation right now, and somebody is, you know, really just not doing, treating you right. You're definitely going to heal from it, okay? And somebody is definitely going to miss an opportunity with you. 
Somebody's definitely gonna miss an opportunity with you. If y'all hear some whining in the back, it's the little puppies, okay? They trying to get out because they hear me over here. Okay, we have the four of cups. What did I, didn't I tell y'all? Somebody is about to miss a beautiful opportunity with y'all. The four of cups. The four of cups. Look how beautiful, this could be male or female. Look how beautiful y'all looking. Y'all looking like a fucking star out here. And they about to miss an opportunity with you. Somebody about to miss an opportunity with you. Because they think something is better and it's not. And they're going to they gonna, they gonna know that real quick. They're going to they gonna know that real quick. Somebody is definitely about to sleep on y'all big time. Somebody about to sleep on y'all big time. Mm-hmm. Ten of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all are feeling really burdened about a situation, but it's time, the Seven of Wands, it's time for you to protect yourself, okay? Like, for real. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but something is definitely fishy. Look at all them fish. Something is definitely fishy. It's time to take a step back, heal, meditate, pray, and take care of yourself at this time. That's what it's time to do. Yeah, because something, mm -mm, something ain't right. Six of Swords. It's time to move on. It's time to move on from a six of situation. A situation. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is definitely the truth. And under that, you got the, the chariot moving on. This is motion, moving on. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that is very confused, has options, and leaving their options open, Scorpio. It could be any sign, though, okay? This Knight of Pentacles, they're going to take their time because they're very confused. This person could be definitely overindulging. But also, Scorpio, you have options, okay? You're definitely going to have options. Definitely going to have options. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Once you move away from something... <laughs> <coughs> Man, I got all choked up. <laughs> Somebody don't want me talking. As soon as you move away from something, Scorpio, some of y'all are, are uh, I'm getting a little hesitant on moving away from a situation because you got feelings for somebody big time. But as soon as you move away, you're moving away into abundance. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Come on. Somebody here is going to be trying to come back and apologize. You know, with the Page of Cups. This could also be a secret admirer that you have. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, y'all. Somebody is possibly taking a risk with uh, with a Queen of Wands. Somebody on the uh, side person or something. But I'm also getting whoever is, um, whoever you dealing with. This person is gonna want to come back. They're gonna they're gonna apologize. They're willing to take a risk now and um give you something long term. But is this something that you're gonna want? Because somebody here could be still be dealing with somebody else on the side. Mm-hmm. Y'all got somebody coming in, so I say. If you ain't happy in the situation, it is time to, to make some choices here for yourself. Think about yourself right now because somebody is, is thinking about themselves also. Okay? Like, just for real, give me an outcome here for Scorpio. What is the outcome here for Scorpio? Somebody here, y'all, you ain't on the same page with somebody anyway. You giving more than that that person is giving to you. It's time for you to take care of yourself, Queen of Cups. What's the outcome here with Scorpio? What's gonna be the outcome? Time for you to start something new. You know who you are. You're the Empress. It's 
time for you to start something new. The Empress don't run after nobody. Mm -mm. People come to her or him. What is the outcome? You're gonna be, you're moving forward. Yeah, you're gonna be moving forward. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords. You're moving out of common. You're moving to common waters here. Nine pre-Empress status, Nine of Pentacles. But guess what? Here you are. You're definitely moving into Empress status because you know who you are. Just period. You're very intuitive. Use your intuition. You already know what it is. You already know what somebody is doing to you. You already know. Y'all could definitely be dealing with an earth sign that's going to be wanting a second chance with you. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be stuck in their head. You're going to leave them stuck in their head because they, they, they're a liar, they're a cheater. And they do shady shit behind your back. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, it's time. Give me some advice. What is the advice for Scorpio? What is the advice? Yeah, Six of Wands. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to be getting recognized because you are the star, Scorpio. And you're going to make have to make a judgment on a situation. you got to make a judgment on a situation. But there's all, I'm telling you, somebody here is going to be wanting to come back towards you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You are the magician. You can, you can manifest anything that you want, Scorpio, and you know that already. Okay, y'all, this is what I got for you. If you rec if you resonate, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, Scorpio.